So let's look at the features of these new terrain trays. This is a 12 inch square terrain tray. It's got gray neutral stone on it. Uh, this, we're going to make this graphic a little more rough so you can use it as rough terrain. Uh, it's 0.8 millimeter metal. It's pretty rigid. It can hold a bunch of stuff without uh, flexing. Uh, why is it metal? We have uh, holes in the bottom of the pieces in which you can insert a magnet and once magnetized the pieces stick right to the trays and such. So why do you want your pieces to stick to your trays? Well, it lets you pre-build rooms and then as the players discover them you can fly the room right in and add it to your dungeon on the fly. Once it's on the table, it's not going to go anywhere. When someone bumps the table, things aren't going to fall over. If you want, you can tip this thing over. It's not going anywhere. And then if your session goes extra long, you have to call it for the night, you can very easily take these off the table, go stack them somewhere, store your dungeon until the next session, just fly them back onto the table and pick up right where you left off with great ease. You can also use these to build elevation. So if you have some pieces, you can use regular pieces, you can use elevation blocks. Throw down some pieces, throw this on top, and voila, you've got an elevated whole second level in your dungeon. You can use it to reveal stuff underneath and the like. And best of all, all these trays on one side have a neutral rock side, which we're making a little more rough so you can use it as rough terrain if you'd like. On the other side, they each feature a hazard. In this case, this one has green acid. We also have lava and murky water. So how do you use these hazards? Well, something like this. You can build a room that has a lot of negative space to it and let the hazard show through. In this case, we've got lava, you could do acid, you could do water. Whatever it is, it lets you build all sorts of challenging and dynamic encounters uh, to enhance your game table, and they're just fun. We're also going to offer a clear grid overlay. So you can place the clear grid on here and then sandwich it down with your magnetic pieces, and then I'll provide you a nice 25 millimeter grid for tactical movement. Lots of options with these train trays. We also offer them in 4x8 inch size, which I don't have on hand currently. I uh, hope you enjoy these train trays.